Well, I can certainly relate to the undermutter and the constant mental chatter that's going on. Um, whether I'm waking, dreaming, or sleeping, that seems to be the case. And what I appreciate about um, short moments and the Four Mainstays is it's like a reset in the midst of complete outrageous mental activity. Um, if we try to stop the mental activity, you know, that's, that's one approach. Trying to replace it with better mental activity, that's another approach. Indulging in the mental activity, that's a, the third approach, and um, we all know where that leads. It's just more mental activity. So really, what I've found is the only option I can rely on is to let it be as it is and um, open up my focus. Just <laughs> complete relaxation. And we hear this so many times again and again. And the profundity of complete relaxation, just even the way it was mentioned in the video, the tone of it and the confidence of complete relaxation, that in and of itself is the only relief that I've ever found with the mental chatter. It's just so many random things, yeah. Like you shared, you know, zooming in on some numbers or counting your steps if you're walking or it could be anything. Uh, replaying a scenario that happened last night and you find that it just keeps replaying and replaying and yeah, it could drive you mental. <laughs> And um, so in the midst of that, just remembering complete relaxation. Uh, I guess that's my mantra, if I have a mantra. Just reminding myself, and also coupled with the rest of the Four Mainstays. You know, just trying to sit there on my own and completely relax. And then I find myself thinking about completely relaxing and seeing how I'm doing. Am I doing it right? Am I actually relaxing? But then I notice all of the bodily tension and then the stories start going off in a new direction. So I, I like to be busy doing things and being in the community is that's very satisfying where um, I mean just sitting here with all of you there's it's like there's nothing going on. It's quite relaxing and there's something nice about it. It's just easy, easy going. And I'm sure you notice that when you're, like when you're working, for instance, at the, you know, over there at the sanctuary and you're just, yeah. I mean, the, the stuff's going on, but you're, you're just completely focused. And that, that's how it is for some of us. You know, it may not be that way for everybody, but um, yeah, rather than Reinforcing the idea that you've had so many years of that, like you said, you know, you've got this many years. Uh, like it's fresh and new in this moment. You know, spontaneous reality in this moment is, is what you have. So referencing of the past, it, it may be helpful in terms of, you know, re relating to other people. But um, to define who you are, you know, that, that exalted, cheerful openness, this, the past is just another data stream that's arising in the here and now. So, yeah, I can see you. <laughs> you, felt, you, you. You know the relief. You know what the relief is, and you know what to rely on. And um, that, that's so helpful. Otherwise, we would just sit and think about things all the time. And, um, yeah, and finding ways to just kind of cut it at the root. Sometimes there's, there are sticky data that come up, and I know this too in my experience. There's certain things that just feel really hard to let be as they are. There's such a compelling movement to either say something or change it or rearrange it or avoid it. And um, just by showing up, well, when you recognize it, that it's coming up, that's another powerful opportunity to let that datum be as it is. And, um, you know, not expecting anything necessarily. I've seen a lot of my sticky data streams, of the, whatever it is, it, it just over time, they, I don't even really, I have to reflect on uh, how I, it just 
like disappeared in an instant. You know, I can't really say when something that was really bothering me just didn't bother me anymore. But I have found in times when um, it has been challenging and just prioritizing, okay, I'm going to use the support of each of the four mainstays. I'm going to rely on complete relaxation. I'm going to be in touch with my trainer, maybe more specifically about what the thing is that's really bothersome. Like just opening up that topic rather than kind of brushing it aside or something. That's always been very helpful. As soon as I've named something, so to speak, it just somehow releases the uh, necessity to even hold on to it. So, the, you know, just being in touch with the trainer and then also in the trainings, applying a line of text to something that feels so sticky can be very powerful. And then uh, when you're with the community, the, if it's coming up, if it's something in terms, you know, whether it's relationship or, you know, just feeling maybe awkward or you have a powerful opportunity to let it be as it is amongst a group of people who are doing the same thing so you won't be um, pressured into indulging, avoiding, or replacing it. <laughs>